Hey, this is Lance Jones. I'm going to do one last story this evening about the Raiders uh, Stadium that construction. Raising the roof on a $2 billion stadium. Steel cables being lifted for support. The heavy lifting that has begun on the Allegiant Stadium, the Las Vegas Raiders Stadium, construction crews on Thursday. This this is last week, or the 25th story. <clears throat> the construction crew, crews on Thursday continue to slow down, continue the slow process of raising a net of multi-ton steel cables that would support a trans a translucent roof on a two billion six five thousand st- stadium football for, for for football that will become the Raiders Stadium in 2020. The raise of the cable net with a coordinated system of high drag lifts is the first step in enclosing the building and it's expected to take several weeks to complete. Done well, Chief Operating Officer for the Raiders Cecilia Cecidiary that has been in the stadium. He expects the cables to be attached alone. The top rim on the roof, a process called Penny by mem- November 2019. The final pin on cables along the top of the roof may be the most challenging work today because the cables manufactured in Switzerland must be stretched to reach across the stadium top opening and will manufacture to within seven eighths of an inch or specifications. That's all I would say. Workers with the Morrison McCarthy Joint Venture has been preparing it. The month cable living since August placed a network of custom built steel stainless steel cables two and a half to three inches in diameter with some as long as 800 feet on the floor of the stadium and attached them with guide wires to a series of knives ringing the top level of the stadium. Eventually, the cables will be raised more than 200 feet above the plan surface. A cable can weigh up to 24 tons and 20 on the left. That will kill a person. They are laying concrete right here. Workers are fans of the concrete service south of the floor opening where they build the field trade that will move the national grass field in and out of Legion Stadium. Okay, the cross hatch patch of cables will form a durable support system for a roof made of fluorine based plastic known as ETF E, short for Ethylene Terror Fluoro Ethylene. Oh, that's chemistry stuff. Because the roof is clear, the stadium interior will be naturally lighted for game days and air-conditioned comfort. That week, well said, said construction crews will begin around the clock shifts once cable net is lifted high enough to the ground to enable cranes to work on the stadium floor to start a hundred piece of precast concrete to complete the, the low, lowest levels of standing proceeding. <clears throat> About 1,800 workers are now employed at the site of the workforce. Expect to hit its peak at, at 2,000 laborers by the end of 2019 into 2020. Workers also finish a concrete surface just south of the, the wide stadium floor opening where they will build the field trade that will move the natural grass fields in and out of the stadium. The concrete floor for the field trade can be used in event service when the field is inside. The trade will be transported along 13 rails that are being built flush to the floor surface. We have also known that two of the of the Lanai doors, uh, Lanai doors, will be able to cover the broad openings of the walls to the north end of the building. Okay, um, and have been installed. The doors are mounted on the tracks that were able to open of. 240 foot wide window that looking out on the Las Vegas Strip. The doors will be covered with the same black glass that has been installed along the stadium interior. From the interior, the glass appears to be a sheet of Ossidian rock or a scented river pattern that is fun- functional as it is designed as a design element. While the ribbon provides a sleek light pattern for the black glass, it also functions as a conduit for air circulation and from the top 
and drain system for water that collects it on the roof. In eastern face of stadium, the glass stadium walls will have an added element of mesh screen of the LED lights that will be able to produce video images for like a giant movie screen based on NSA 15 and the line of the MGM Resorts and natural properties. Okay, so they're, they're trying to finish that because they want to be ready for 2020, ugh, 2020 the football season, the fall football season. They're trying to do that, so you be ready for that. So hopefully they have luck and hopefully get done and hopefully it will bring a lot of good things. Well, a lot of drunks and a lot of crazy football fans. But we'll see what happens. Wish them luck. Like, share, subscribe. Thanks for listening. Goodbye. Have a good night.